Welcome. This is SPSS PSY 3840, and I'm Professor Fred Coolidge. Let's go to our assignments. We are up to Unit 9. And this is the ANOVA One Factor Completely Randomized Design. This is like a t-test, except that it's an extension of t-test because we can compare in ANOVA more than two means. Actually, the ANOVA is allowed. Uh, you can conduct an ANOVA on two groups means or more than two groups means. So let's open up our ANOVA lecture. We're going to again use the schizoid asper control uh, data set. And as we say here, the one factor completely randomized design determines whether two or more groups means are different from each other. And we're going to learn how to conduct and interpret this completely randomized design ANOVA. And if we have some time, we'll go into some history. So let us begin by opening our data set. And remember we had one case, case number 47, with a clinker for SAS tote. So we're going to eliminate that again from our data by going clear. We're going to get good at eliminating that data. And now we go down here and we can see that there are 70 cases. And they're in three groups. Zero is the control. One is Asperger's group. Two was the loner children, which means they have schizoid personality disorder traits. Okay, so this is kind of critical, and this is actually real data, is this is a sum of 45 different autistic symptoms on 45 items, and this is their sum. And what we want to do is see is if is the mean for the Asperger's group, all these group one children, is that mean significantly greater than these two children? So these children can be loners and have schizoid traits, but we want to see if this, if they have fewer autistic symptoms uh, or more autistic symptoms than just children who are loners. Now, so th theoretically, at least, we're thinking that the children with Asperger's would have the highest mean, children with loners would have the second highest mean, and they might not even be different than these control children, these zero children who are the uh, matched control group for the other two groups. So let's go to analyze. We can go into descriptive, I'm sorry, compare means and go down here to one way ANOVA. And this is just one way to run ANOVA here. Okay, so what are we going to measure? We're going to measure this, these three means between the three groups on autistic symptoms. And what's our factor? Our factor, our independent variable, is going to be the group ID. Now notice it already knows that there's three different groups here. So we can do compare three different groups means on this single dependent variable. And we'll come over here to OK. And Here's what we have when we have the total autistic symptom survey. We have the between groups variance, if you'll read your chapter 9, your within groups variance, and this total. Um, our F value, and this is the analysis of variance, we're going to use the F distribution to test for significance. And what it's saying is this F value is, is this greater than, if the all three means were equal, then the F value would be 1. So we see that. Look at this, the F value is 63, it's a lot greater than 1, and of course that means that these three means differ, and the probability we're wrong, that only chance is accounting for the mean differences, is less than uh, point, or equal to 0 .0005, uh, so we could actually remember put P less than 0 .0005, or we could put P less than 0 .001, because if it's equal to this, it's certainly less than 0, 0, 001. Okay, but we didn't get any means here, and we didn't order any other uh, information. So what we'll do is we'll go back to Analyze. We'll go back to One Factor ANOVA, and we'll look at what other options we have for getting uh, our means. 
Now, if down here on options, we can get a, a means plot or this descriptive statistics for these means. And now let's see what that single option does for us. We hit OK. And now we can see, and a little more descriptive, just one more button, and we can see now we have the means for the control children, the Asperger's children, the schizoid children, and this F value then tells us, this F value right here, tells us that these three means, at least one of these means, is different from the other means. But as you read Chapter 9, you find out that's one of the problems with just the NOVA. It's called an omnibus test, which says it tests whether at least one means different from others. This says, yes, there's at least one mean different from the others, but it doesn't tell us which one. Now, critically, these two means are a little bit closer together. See how both of them, they definitely have more autistic symptoms than these control children. But we don't know whether these two differ or not. Is this actually significantly higher for the Asperger kids, which we hope? Is the only greater than what the schizoid children have? That's going to require the next lesson, which is the post hoc analyses or multiple comparison analyses. But in this way, we've done the uh, simple ANOVA, and it'll handle more than these degrees of freedom is the number of groups minus one. So we know this is uh, two, so we know that we had these three groups. Uh, SPSS also gives us relatively meaningless total across all three groups for the mean total across all three groups. And that's our lesson for today.